On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens. Uh, this is the, the Warwick cabinet um, with uh, two French hens rather than three French French hens. I think the dog has chased one of the French hens away. Um, it was, um, it's a, a, a French panel from the 17th century. It was acquired by either the first or the second Earl of Warwick in the 1770s, who sent it to his cabinet maker in London, um, a cabinet maker called Mayhew and Ince, who created this cabinet around this. So he's very proud of this um, old panel as it would have been. It would have been about 100 years old when he bought it in the 1770s. The panel dates from the 1680s. So I don't know whether he'd consider it to be an antique at that date, but certainly it's 100 years old when he buys it. It stays with the Warwick family at Warwick Castle until 1968, and then it's sold um, by uh, one of the Earls of, of Warwick um, at Christie's in London, and bought by um, quite a famous antique dealer called David Dray, who was at that day, uh, that day trading in the King's Road in London, which is quite fashionable street for antique shops. Uh, David Ray comes from a very um, illustrious line of antique dealers going back uh, to the 1860s uh, with uh, a dealer called A.S. Dray in Munich. So he's quite a well-known dealer. Um, he only keeps it for less than a year and he sells it to um, Aspreys, the famous jewellers in Bond Street, who then um, have it on the Grosvenor House Antiques Fair um, in London in July 1969. Um, and they sell it to a collector and it stays uh, with that collector for about 10 years. And then in 1979, the collector sells it to the Getty Museum in California, uh, and it um, is subject to what's called an export stock. Um, so Norman St. John Stevens, who was the culture secretary in the Thatcher government at the time, he says that it's far too important to leave this country. Um, so it's um, it it got to remain in this country, and it has an export stock put on it, uh, which means that the Bose Museum has the opportunity to buy it, and they bought it um, for the price that the Getty paid for it, which at that date in 1979 was £80,000. Uh, and it ends up at the Bowes Museum and it's been here since 1979. So there we are, the Warwick Cabinet. <laughs>